you were quoted in, in a news item as saying that even even Christ uh, said, uh, I, I, I know, something about gifts and accepting. Was that a personal opinion or was that a, a, no. uh, your, your stand as a, as a commissioner? Not speaking for the entire commission, I understand what you said. You haven't sat down on it. But as a commissioner, an anti-corruption commissioner, what is your take on it? Oh, that, that's true, sir. Um, we remember a story that in the Bible where Christ looked for the other nine people he helped. When he helped ten, only one came back. And he looked, he said, where's the nine while the only one who came and thanked, uh, thanked me? So it is an attitude, a Christian attitude that is um, taught to us by Christ on gratitude and thankfulness. So andun po ang... Andun po ang anggulo nun, hindi po dun sa bribery and extortion. Okay. But Mr. Bellica, I mean, when when the Anti-Corruption Commission is the one drawing a gray area around the definition of corruption and accepting gifts, never mind the police, but don't you think that compromises your mandate as anti-corruption officials? Sir, I just said that it is not corruption. It does not involve corruption when tokens are insignificant. Obviously, the president is referring to insignificant amounts. So when you talk about corruption, that is a different matter. When you do things for favor as an official, you do things because of a promised favor or demand, you are demanding from someone applying for an extortion, um, example, sir, um, someone, a government employee, finds uh, 1 million pesos in a bag in the airport. Then the government employee looks for the owner, and then he finds the owner uh, and gives it back to the owner. The owner now gives him 100,000 pesos. That is not corruption because he did not expect nor did he ask from the owner that amount of money, and it was not a gift. It was a token of uh, expressing its gratitude. Uh, sir, in that in that example, I mean, I was I was actually quite surprised. I mean, because we were going to get into a definition of what is nominal, what mm -hmm. is insignificant. In that example that you cited, hundred thousand pesos in certain contexts for the commissioner on, on anti-corruption is saying that even 100,000 pesos in certain contexts is insignificant. You're now sending a message to public servants and civil servants sure. that depending sa context yan, even 100,000 pesos, kaya nating i-justify yan in certain cases. Sir, that is the example. Yes, precisely. Uh, but this is an example unprompted, I, I, I framed I, I by a commissioner on anti-corruption. This is something that... You I, offered up as an example. An exa you said basically, correct I, me if I'm wrong, you said, for example, uh, we, in, certain, in certain instances, so in, we can justify 100,000 pesos as an insignificant gift. That's what you said. Uh, I answered you already, sir. Commissioner Bell, he can see I'm Ipamin Tuanpa from the Philippine Star. We yes, talked earlier with the, with the civil service commissioner... Eileen, Eileen Lisada, and she told us that under the law, accepting any gift is actually uh, uh, accepting any gift by by civil servants will is it's a violation of the law. That goes against what you're saying, and you're talking about the one hundred thousand. The 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 civil servant can actually return the money or reject the money. So so anong anong position yung kapag ganyan? Hindi yata nagkakasun do yung mga government official natin. Insignificant gifts or insignificant tokens against gifts. Tokens are not gifts, ma'am. Tapos mabalik ko lang yung tanong dun sa example ko po. So, ibig niyo sabihin po, yung nagbalik ng, ng, one, ng 1 million pesos na binigyan ng 100,000, kakasuhan po natin ng corruption? Kung tinanggap niya po yung 100,000, I would think so, <laughs> yes. I mean, I can, we can make that case. But, no, but balik tarin po natin yung tanong. You're saying, ay, ito po yung tanong ko sa inyo. Balik tarin po natin yung tanong. You're saying, yung tumanggap ng 100,000 pesos, dapat hindi man lang tanungin. Oh, tigawin mo 1,000 pesos, sir. 
Hindi, hindi, hindi. Because you said 100,000. We're asking precisely in your, in your, in your mandate as anti-corruption commissioner. And your guidance now, you have the ear of the president. You're giving guidance. We're asking you, give us guidance between what the law says and what the president said. And unprompted, Ma your... Naman po yung sinabi ko kanina, it's not corruption because it is token given out of gratitude. It was, it was not a gift that was demanded nor promised. Yes, it's but... It's the guidance. If, but, but if this... in case, if the case was this, this um, employee found this 1 million pesos and found out who owns it, and then calls him up and says, Oh, I have your 1 million pesos. Give me even 1,000 pesos. Babalik ko sa'yo to. And the, the story is totally different. So okay. it's a case-to-case -case basis. So Commissioner. Yung, kanina example na si Nitro. Commissioner. Uh, Talak niya lang eh. Commissioner, you're saying, Commissioner, na ba basta hindi hiningi, okay lang. Ganun ho ba? Hindi ho hiningi. Um, hindi iprinami sa kanya uh, insignificant amount, um, then that cannot be corruption. Uh -huh. those, can, those are tokens of gratitude. Pero, pero Commissioner, 100,000 is not an insign insignificant number. I mean, uh, that's, not to that's, anyone. that's uh That's, uh, that's uh, yeah. an amount that uh, some people in this, in this country will earn in a year. Example ako po, sir. Pagkawin mo isang libo, kunyari ako, sir, Commissioner po ako, ako, naka, ako, naka, ako po nakakuha that's my salary, sir, eh. Hmm. So sa akin, yung 100,000, it's just to get me by. So it's really not a significant amount to me because that's how much I get paid a so, month. So in that no, example that you're, you're saying, in that example, sir, you're now injecting yourself into your example. In that example of you finding 1 million pesos, returning it, and then somebody out of gratitude granting, no? will give you 100,000, you will take it. Uh, sir, can you repeat that? In your example, mm. dinubuo po lang, ko lang po yung kwento nyo, kung tama yung pagkakaintindi ko. You're saying na kung kayo, nakahanap kayo ng 1 million at sinoli nyo <coughs> yung 1 million at gusto kayong bigyan ng 100,000 pesos, hindi nyo hiningi, linawin natin, hindi nyo hiningi, pero inabot na kayo ng 100,000 pesos, tatanggapin nyo. Ako hindi. Siyempre, sir. I won't do that.